city for a minute. You can change flute types, you can play melodies. Oh man. So we're gonna talk about something pretty cool. Hi, my name is John Lemkel. Welcome to a new video. I just want to play this. <laughs> anyway, did you know most DAWs, right, can only access one plugin format at a time? You say VST3 or VST2. In Logic Pro, it's only audio units, right? Well, did you know Unify can actually load audio units if you're on a Mac, not on a PC, but VST2 and VST3 plugins all in the same patch? That's huge. Some companies release VST2 and VST3 plugins. Some can only release VST3 because they're a newer company. They didn't get a license for VST2. Unify has the ability on the plugin page to scan not only VST, but VST3. And if you're on the Mac, you have the option for audio units. And then we have this option right here called Remove Redundant. And that's what I want to talk about today. I've scanned VST2 already. I'm going to start the process for VST3. And then I'm going to do audio units. I'm going to actually scan all three. I'm going to pause the video. You don't have to sit here with me while I go through the whole process. But I have something cool to show you at the end that's really interesting. So <sighs> so I have over a thousand plugins of each format. What's cool is even while it's scanning, I'm still playing. Oh Lord, I played the wrong notes. There. And boom. Now it will pop up a list at the end of the can. Typically these are 32-bit plugins, which is why it pops up as like, I can't load. Don't worry about those. Just say, okay. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to also say scan for new up and or updated audio units. And now it's going through the audio units. You can still play. So we are back and, uh, Still having fun? Without City? And you'll notice if I go to my plugin list now, let's go to Apply Acoustic Systems, for example, you see audio units, VST3 and VST. So they're all there, right? Now, I am in Logic Pro. So I am calling up the audio unit version of Unify. But Unify can play all these plugin formats. So even though this is the audio unit version, for example, Tone 2 has a really cool synth called Warlock. On the Mac, it's available only in VST3 format. But I can go down here to Tone 2. And Tone 2, Warlock, boom. I'm playing a VST3 plugin inside of Logic Pro. And we've unified this library. So if we go down here to the Tone 2 Warlock library, um, all the patches. Killer synth. Great personality. Does all sorts of things. All 2,106 patches are here. To be used in Logic or whatever you want. Now, the thing that I want to show you that's really cool and the reason for this one topic tip is not only the, the, the to explain and show you that you can scan all three 
plugin formats because that's cool, right? But we realized that looking at your plugins and seeing this isn't ideal to see all three of the same plugin. So here's what we do. Most of our libraries are formatted to call up the VST2 version of a plugin. It's just the most compatible between the PC and the Mac. Um, VST3 is next because it's still cross-platform compatible. And it's pretty, pretty solid when you come to con conversions and stuff. Like the patches for Warlock were done by one of our customers on a PC. So it still is compatible, loads, no errors, no problems, names are fine and stuff. Audio units is Mac only. So if you if it's if you save a patch in Mac and you send it to your friend on a PC, they can't call it up. It just won't work. So because we prioritize VST2 first, I talked to Shane and we made a really cool thing on the plugin page under operations that says remove redundant plugins. This allows you by having the ability to scan all three formats and then use this command. And it says this will remove audio unit plugins if equivalent VST2 VST3 is available and remove VST3 if an equivalent VST is available. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. And by doing this, it will clean up the list of plugins. So now when I go over here to my plugin list and I go to Applied Acoustic Systems, I just see the plugins. I don't see three of every one. And now I, I don't know if it's VST2 or VST3 or audio unit. If I go to the plugin page, you can scroll down the list and you can see those that are audio units. You can see those that are VST3 that were kept because there wasn't an, uh, an equivalent version on the VST2 version. So it's really cool. What, what this means is every plugin in audio units, VST3, VST2, can be found and made available without duplicates in Unify. And so now you can play with all of them. You have all of your plugins uh, without having to like go, okay, which ones were only VST3 and trying to remember, make a database on paper or something like that? You don't. Unify will keep track of that for you. So today's topic, the tip of the day, is you can scan all of your plugins with this operation. It takes a while for each one if you have a lot of plugins. It might restart. If it restarts, it's because it hit an issue. It will skip that issue and it will issue a little report. If you get to the end of your plugin list, you'll see sometimes a list of red plugins that are disabled. You can right click on any of the plugins and say remove from the list. So you can remove the red arrow ones if you want like that. But this whole list can then be trimmed down, optimized with this remove redundant plugins option so that you only have one of each plugin prioritizing VST first, VST three second, audio units third. So all plugins are there and available. Pretty cool, huh? All right, so there you go. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next tip video.